Good morning, Rajas. This is Mr. Lawson. <clears throat> Monday, February 22nd with our Raja Report, and we've got a full broadcast today. So let's get started. Join me for the pledge. Good morning, Rajas. <clears throat> I'm today Captain DeMata, and today I will be leading the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and your support with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Rajah, scholars and champions, and you may be seated. Good morning, Rajahs. I am Cadet Captain Damata, and today will be... And here. next, we'd like to say a festive happy birthday to our outstanding Rajahs. First, to Sebastian Lopez Arciniega, Eduardo Fausto, uh, Estesi Ayala Bolaños, and Christian Torres. Also on our staff to our PE teacher and coach, Gio Machado. We hope you have a great, festive, fantastic, phenomenal, fun, exciting, happy birthday to celebrate with your family. And this uh, today, the next Getting Acquainted staff member is Ms. Higuera Munoz, who is one of our English and ELD teachers. Not only that, but she is a Raja graduate, a proud graduate from our Raja family in the class of 2006. Up above, you'll see she loves to go hiking, and she's our hiking club advisor, and this is her and her husband out on a hike. Looks like they went to the Grand Canyon. How cool. Um, they have two dogs that they love more than anything in the world, and the two of them enjoy going out and being outdoors and hiking. Uh, they want to travel. Their goal is to go to every state in the country and to every state in Mexico. They love to travel and want to be able to see the outdoors in each one of those. Um, they, she was born and raised here in Indio, and she loves watching K-dramas. She graduated with her Bachelor of Arts in English Literature, as you can see, another proud Cal State San Bernardino Coyote, just like me. And she got her Master's of Arts in Reading from Grand Canyon University. And you'll see she got her pastry diploma, Le Cordon Bleu, from Paris. Oh, you can make pastries anytime. I've already gained a lot of weight, but I'll gladly gain another pound. We're proud of her as a COD graduate with her AA and um, going to Cal State San Bernardino and then Grand Canyon University. And that is Ms. Higuera Munoz. Then we want to say how proud we are of all of you for helping to spread that Raja positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. And along those lines, I am proud to announce the class of 2021 summa cum laude top scholars. We want to announce today there are 25 students who have that 4.0 and above. Axel Aranda, David Bariga, uh, Diana Bermudez, Denise Campos Lagunas, Matthew Caro, Ariana Castaneda Gutierrez, Anthony Flores, Vanessa Flores, Eliasar Fregoso, Lisbeth Guadarrama, Cody Genther, Ian Harker, Jennifer Medina Perez, Jacob Orozco, Cushy Patel, Kaylee Quintero Coronel, Arlene Ramos, Jesus Rincón, Ariana Sandoval, Yaret Soto, Gloria Guadalupe Soto Villegas, Mildred Torres, uh, Tanya Valdez Lopez, Jairo Cepeda, and Valeria Zorilla. We are so proud of all of you for doing such an outstanding job and watch your email the next couple of days, the 25 of you. I am sending you a request for information to put together the slide for our virtual honors dessert. I'll have a letter to you and tell you more about that. I'll be inviting you to a special Zoom to learn about how we honor and recognize our summa cum laude every year. With that, next we want to share another quick announcement. Hey, I'm Alexis Serratos and I'm the SSA president. Hey, I'm Selena Diaz del Castillo and I'm the FFA secretary. Today is the first day of FFA week and I have a little California agriculture fact. What is it? Did you know California is the largest producer of food in the U.S.? Whoa, really? Yep, and that's a lot of food. Way cool. And each day our FFA will have a quick fact to share with you. Let's... Hey, I'm Alexis Serratos and I'm the FFA and if you're asking me, I'm going to point you to the web page. We've had several students emailing about summer school. Please check your MyDS at email. Uh, summer school applications are there and all the information you need. This is a 
um, an image right off of the web page that you can see. If you check with your counselor, they will be uh, signing up based on courses for credit recovery and retakes. Uh, so be sure and check that information about summer school. Also, uh, the African American Student Summit, the very first one that we have in our district, our African American Parent Advisory Council is sponsoring a summit this coming Friday from 5 to 6.30. We invite students to discuss their academic and career journey with former students uh, that have gone on to great success. So we want to invite you. Here is the link. We'll have more information and I'll be sending that out also by email in my DS email accounts. And if you are interested in spring sports, don't forget, call the athletic office, go to the sports page, the athletics page in our web page for more information. There's a page for every single sport and you can reach your, out to your coaches. Also coming up next week, we have a very special um, contest coming up next week is going to be a spirit week. We'll have more information coming up, but this week by Wednesday is the superhero art contest for next week's Say Something Week. So be sure to check this out. Enter that contest. We shared this last week and I just wanted to send a quick reminder. And congratulations, Indio High School mock trial team, not only on your round three victory against San Jacinto High School, but Jessica Rodriguez for being awarded MVP for prosecution attorney. Furthermore, a huge shout out. And as you can see, they took a fun picture, some of them with uh, trying to be silly because they wanted to celebrate. They were so excited. They did such a great job. They defeated La Quinta High School on Saturday in round four. And a big shout out to Alberto Cortez because he received recognition for being MVP uh, for his role as the defendant, Lee Crotty. And then our team had the most wins in the entire Desert Sands Unified School District. But that's not all. We are so proud because during the virtual mock trial awards event on Saturday, <clears throat> two of our members received medals. A uh, drum roll, please. As you see at the top, we are so proud. Alberto Cortez received a silver medal for his portrayal of Lee Crotty, the defendant, and Destiny Casas, bronze for portraying Dr. Jess Bayart, the defense expert. They were among the, th the top three for their roles in the entire district, or in the entire Riverside County mock trial competition. So congratulations to, on a job well done to our entire team, the MVPs, um, our attorney coaches, Madam Sung and Ms. Hadegi. Raja pride at its very best. What an outstanding job you guys did. And don't forget, Tuesdays and Thursdays is intervention time. Check your teachers and I'll check your Google Classroom so you get that extra support to start strong, stay strong and finish strong. And a quick announcement from our dance class. We have a come and groove with our Indio High School dance team. If you love to dance, this is a great opportunity for a free dance class. It's Thursday, the 25th, 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So check that out. Email them and they will get you the Zoom information so that you can be a part. And our joke of the day. Before the weather gets warms up too much, since we just had snow in most of the country, I had this joke sent to me. What kind of snack or would you make for a snowman holiday party. <laughs> Ice crispy treats, of course. <laughs> and our final thought for the day, Oprah Winfrey has a lovely quote that I want to share with you that says this, don't worry about being successful, but work hard on being significant and the success will naturally follow. I agree wholeheartedly. And with that, be kind to one another and stay classy Indio. We'll see you tomorrow.